My work with President Kenyatta today has been rooted in our shared recognition that the interests of both our nations and the lives of both our peoples can be advanced if our countries deepen and expand our cooperation, and that's what we've agreed to today. We will extend student and business visas for up to five years for Kenyans traveling to the United States and for Americans traveling to Kenya. This will make it easier for university students to complete their studies and for businesses to make long-term plans. Our governments are also working to launch direct flights between Kenya and the United States as soon as possible. As part of our Young, leaders, uh, young African Leaders Initiative, we'll also continue to support promising Kenyan youth as they work to become future leaders in business, civil society, and government. Now that we've renewed the African Growth and Opportunity Act, or AGOA, for another 10 years, I discussed with President Kenyatta how we can expand our economic cooperation, and we're especially focused on infrastructure and energy. Today, we discussed deepening our security cooperation. As part of our security governance initiative, our governments signed an action plan yesterday in which we'll support Kenya's efforts to strengthen its judiciary, police, and border security. We also discussed broader efforts to counter violent extremism here in Kenya and around the world, efforts that are advanced when there is rule of law, respect for human rights, a space for civil society and peaceful dissent, and when we welcome all communities as our partners.